achieving what you want won't make you happy. And this was something that I thought everyone sort of knew because I know everybody has heard it's about the journey and not about the destination. heard it so much to the point where the whole meaning just blows by their head the true meaning doesn't really hit the spot but a lot of the times i've realized that the more cliche a meaning has or quote has the more it has truth to it like i give you an example the the most cliche quote of all time believe in yourself everybody has heard that quote but i don't think a lot of people know that it's the real difference between success and failure it only hits you once you realize how much your set beliefs have on your decisions and outcomes and you're going to be in denial even if those beliefs are holding you back believing in yourself is single-handedly the most important and biggest advice you somebody can give you but i mean that's that's another vid okay that's not this one if you're not happy now in the present you won't be happy later because later doesn't exist, you only have now. Now that doesn't mean to not be striving for something, because you should always actually have a goal in mind to strive for. Because when we're striving for a goal, that's when we are actually our most happiest, when we feel our most fulfilled in this game of life. It's like a car when you're going zero to 60 miles per hour. It's not when you hit 60 miles per hour is the fun part. It's the acceleration to get 60 miles per hour. It's where it's most exciting, when it's most fun. It's the progress. And this is what I've learned recently from my dad. I haven't learned recently, but I've seen patterns from him. He's always doing something. He's always he's always looking forward to do something. He's trying to like build upon what he he's already built upon. Like he's never he's never stagnant. He always has a goal, even at his age. I mean, he's not old, but he's he's old, you know. And I never really questioned it before. No, I never knew why until I asked him. It's the grind that when you look back, you'll say these were the good times. Not after you've gotten the things you wanted to achieve, because I know for a fact as soon as you're gonna achieve them, you're gonna ask yourself, now what? You have what you wanted and you thought it would give you a feeling of fulfillment of like joy and excitement and it probably did for like a fat minute until that minute was gone and now you probably feel even more you probably feel worse because you had this expectation of what you wanted to feel but it was just lackluster you feel lost in a sense because now you don't have a direction anymore and this is the phase that a lot of people get stuck in because the whole time they thought the achievement was the reward. In life, you must realize that your life is in patterns. And there's one pattern that you must realize is that the pattern of attaining goals and achieving them and acquiring new ones. And so the first phase of this loop that you're going to be constantly in until probably the day you die is the clarity phase. This is where your mind is clear of what you want to do and what you want to set aside to achieve. Whether that's the next level of your career or just something small, right? All that matters is that you know what the challenge is and you accepted it. The next phase is the flow phase. And this is when you're gonna feel the <coughs> Damn. God. The next phase is the flow phase where you are solely taking action and this is when the grind is most enjoyable and you're gonna see the most amount of progress that you're gonna make this is when it really gets good all right and now the next phase is going to be the consistency phase where you will feel pressured to keep all the progress you made and you're going to get more progress but it's not going to be as fast as it once was it's going to feel like you were once on top of a mountain and now you're just slowly going downhill to chaos which is the next phase is the lost phase this is the phase where you've 
achieved and acquired what you want and now you don't know where to go next or don't know where to find your next your next accomplishment and this is where a lot of people get stuck in if they don't know how to navigate in the dark okay shout out to Danco I got this from him like he really he, he really made it clear he really made it clear you have to zoom out and see which phase you're in and take action according to that so you don't feel discombobulated once you're in a phase and you, and you don't know what to do social media has given people the illusion that the end goals are the rewards those are the things that will make you happy because all you see is just the end goals you only see the cars you only see the money you only see the high tier level of skill like in sports or an instrument you don't see the struggle to get to that certain level you don't see the journey where the real reward lies because i'm telling you as a guitarist the only reason why i enjoy playing the guitar because i know the progress that i've made i've seen it i can feel it the new song that i've learned sure i mean yeah it's fun to play for a, for a little while for like a couple weeks until you get used to playing that song and it just it's just normal it doesn't have that kick anymore i've already accomplished what i wanted to get and now it's just eh like that first guitar cover it's just bro it was amazing playing it now when i play it, it's just i mean it's okay like you know i, I could do it i guess like it's, it's just normal now people should be more open towards showing their progress because when we do it's a thousand times more inspirational than just showing the end result and this is why i'm never going to delete my past videos because like for me it's it's really bad like compared to these like they're really bad i mean they weren't bad but they were bad i'm not going to delete them because i want to show people the progress that I've made that I didn't just get here from nowhere I had to start from what I already had and just learn with the tools that I already had you know like bro I didn't have a camera I didn't have a mic like I started off with a phone <laughs> and sure like they're cringe to me now but they still inspire me because it shows me the progress that I've made and it wants me to make more videos because in my head in, in like i imagine myself in a year watching back to these videos right now with the mic and a camera and saying how bad and cringy these videos were because of how much better my videos will be in the future and that right there is a really good feeling when your best output is cringy to you in a year because of how much better you know your content is is going to be a year from now because you're always going to be progressing the true enjoyment is in the progress it's in the journey when you're always trying to get better building on top of what you already built it's the grind not the destination it's those times grinding late at night and early in the morning when other people are sleeping that's the real dream it's those times when you learn to love the journey because the man who loves the journey will go much further than the man who just loves the destination.